Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Guilty Gear. Today we'll talk about Potemkin, the series' bulky grappler. And like other quintessential grapplers, yes, he's big and he's slow, but he has unique tools to cover his inherent flaws, and he only needs one good read to turn the tables and win. I'm Carlos, and you're watching... Uh, hi, can I help you with something? No one can escape the power of science! What, what are you doing? No! No, please! No! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Puny American narration trembles before the might of Zep's mightiest warrior. I am superior narrator Mike Z, and you are not watching Guilty Bits. Guilty Bits watches you! Potemkin's strategy centers around the threat of what he can do up close. You want opponent to actively avoid specific attack, which opens him up to get hit by a different one. Clever, no? When Potemkin goes on offensive, my favorite move, Potemkin Buster, punishes weak-minded opponents for their over-reliance on blocking. Much like nuclear warhead, the mere threat of it will cause your opponent to try to jump or counterattack during pressure. Potemkin takes advantage of this with normal moves or heat knuckle, an unblockable upward command grab meant to catch the foolish who jump away in fear of Potemkin Buster. The eyes of the regime are everywhere, as well as their extremely large hands. Hammerfall is versatile move which fills many roles in Potemkin's game. It is dashing move and one of Potemkin's few options for fast mobility. Fast being relative, of course. It also grants one hit of super armor, a property which lets Potemkin take a single hit without getting knocked out of the move, allowing him to blow through predictable attacks for vicious punish makes problem disappear faster than political opposition. Hammerfall is usually not safe on block, but has FRC point to compensate and convert into mighty combos on hit. It can also be cancelled during dash by pressing P button, a great move to use in conjunction with sudden fearsome Potemkin Buster. This turns simple block string into dangerous mix-up situation. Slidehead creates full-screen unblockable earthquake which knocks opponent down for longer than Cold War, allowing Potemkin to get close, exactly where he wants to be. It must be avoided by staying off-ground, a situation Potemkin is well equipped for, which means zoning characters must pay attention at all times. Up close, it functions as low-hitting combo starter which looks very similar to his forward and K overhead, creating an extremely rewarding high-low mix-up. Potemkin flicks away laughable NATO projectiles with mere finger. The projectile contacts Potemkin while he's performing this move, offending projectile transforms into slow-moving energy wall that eats other fireballs. Potemkin can follow it to easily close distance. Potemkin has some great normals to complement aforementioned specials. Crouching S has vacuum effect and leaves opponent exactly where you want him, as close as possible, trembling in fear. Neutral standing H has very long reach and will keep opponent still while you cancel to hammerfall to close gap. The arms of the Empire stretch across the land! Crouching D is fast, long-range sweep, and in plus R can be cancelled into specials, making it key move in block strings. While Potemkin's moves are fairly slow and not fit to get him out of capitalist pressure most of the time, his backdash is among best in game, not fastest to finish, but almost fully invincible, and will put Potemkin in perfect position to punish predictable offense and claim Arctic sovereignty. 
While many of Potemkin's nuances changed in Guilty Gear Accent Core USS plus R, he still retains patient, devastating grappler style he's always been known for. You have questions? I know this. Ask them. And if you like video, watch more of them. And don't forget to subscribe for live updates on Glorious Revolution! I must go. Our secret weapons project, codenamed Skullgirls, requires my attention. Do not tell anyone a secret! Weak-spirited American narrator Carlos finishes rest of episodes, so tune in next time to Guilty Bits! <laughs>